Olympic champion in rowing. Today I'm going to show you some tips on how to get a little bit faster on the rowing machine. We're going to start with the very basic setup. The setup is actually one of the most important parts of the rowing stroke. It sounds very obvious to most rowers, but coming out with your hands away before you lean over is very key to setting up for a good, strong drive. Once we're at the catch, really think about your body position. Make sure your chest is up, your grip is nice and strong, your shins are perpendicular, and you're ready to, for an explosive drive. A really good tip for, to help with the catch is to start with the legs and maybe do a legs only drill. I usually start out my practices doing legs only for you know a minute or so. Here I'm thinking about keeping my chest up, being really relaxed with my shoulders, just cruising along. Once you feel comfortable with legs only, you can complete the drive by bringing your whole body back and finishing the stroke. Even here, I'm thinking about my setup every time because having that good setup sets you up very well with your body angle. My coach yells at me a lot because I don't, I often don't keep my shoulders in front of my hips. So whenever I'm on the rowing machine, I like to imagine that he's yelling at me a little bit to remind me that my shoulders need to be in front of my hips for as long as possible. And I'm really pushing the seat back. Now another really important part is the finish. Everyone likes to have a six back ab, so you can really help that by keeping your core really strong at the finish. If you engage your, your core here at the finish, you can feel you're getting those six pack abs. A good uh, drill to help with your finish position, is just doing a little arms only. You could do this for about a minute. Again here, the finish position is a nice relaxed shoulder, nice relaxed neck. And my wrists are pretty flat, just bringing my elbows past my body. This will again help you with that setup. One way that you can help your technique is if you have a mirror or a coach who can help, who can watch you and, and help give you feedback on what you're doing correctly or incorrectly. I like to actually watch myself rowing in a mirror, not only because I look fabulous, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> but also because it helps emphasize the good technique versus improper technique. Sometimes when I'm really struggling in the middle of a rowing piece, and I know a lot of people are guilty of doing this, they tend to come down or come really far up to what's called the cage here and really think that they're using so much power. But in fact, you're losing a lot of your power when you don't set up correctly at the catch. So practicing those correct techniques on the rowing machine really help you get a couple splits faster. Since rowing is a full body workout, you're really using almost every single muscle. The main muscle group are the legs. This is actually uh, something that most people think incorrectly about rowing. They think that you, know, you need a big upper body, but in fact you use your legs. So one of the areas that works is your quads and also your calves 
and your hips. But what's often overlooked is the core. The core is very important because it keeps, you know, you're using your hands, you know, to hold the, the handle and your arms, but your core is what keeps the power with the handle. So we do, um, besides being on the rowing machine, it's very important to do some core exercises, some core strengthening exercises. It's also important to work the lats and we also work the arms. One of my favorite workouts is doing two times 30 minutes. It really helps build up your aerobic base. And we do that typically every day. Um, in addition, we have a couple more intense workouts that really are called aerobic threshold workouts that really build up your lactic acid and make you push your limits. Uh, I guess one of our typical aerobic threshold workouts um, would be five by five minutes at a higher cadence and more intense power. This helps set up for our typical uh, rowing race, which is 2,000 meters. Uh, you're also using your lats and your shoulders. Um, however, it is important to remember that when you're taking a stroke, you are using your, your legs and in this angle, but your upper body is really just a follow through. So you're not, you know, doing any extra yanking or really pulling at the finish because that's wasted energy. Make sure that your power is coming from your legs. Where your arms and shoulders and lats are getting the workout is how you're connected to the oar handle. I'm Susan Francia, and that's my pro tip for you.